This is one of 25,000 official sets. Alvin and Chipmunks, love potion number nine. That is a good find, first thing. Oh yeah, so you can... And you do have the GameCube, you said? Oh yeah. You're looking for it? Yeah, okay, I cool. just found that. Right. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of The Retro Life. Basically, the day in the life of a retro game and toy collector, buyer, reseller. I love it all, guys, and we're about to jump into our first day of our trip to the Dallas Arlington area for the big Retro Palooza convention. This convention is, is humongous. It's put on by the Game Chasers, and basically it's just a, a, a 90s and 80s game and toy uh, collector's dream. Guys, there's so much to look at, and this convention actually started on Saturday, but this is the day before. This is Friday. We had just gotten the U-Haul completely filled with all of the stuff that we were going to sell uh, at, at the convention, but we had to go hunt while we were in Texas. We had the whole day, all of Friday, to go hunt. So we hunted at basically every possible situation you can think of. We're talking pawn shops, garage sales, flea markets, all of it, guys. We we went all over Texas to try to find the retro goodness. So we're about to get into it, but before we do, if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, then do me a favor and hit that friggin' subscribe button. Every single Monday and Thursday, we're coming out with new retro nostalgic type videos, and I don't want you guys to miss it. So our very first stop was a pawn shop right next to the hotel that we were staying in. What's the low you do on that on that Game Boy? Other one ten even. One ten even. Does it have a? Does it have the charger? All right. First purchase at Pawn Shop. You remember the name? I don't remember the name. Uh, we got this Pokemon 3DS XL Y X Y and X version or something. I don't know 3DSs very well, but I knew when I saw it that it had a little bit of value. 129, and he ended up taking. Uh, 100 for it. 100 flat, no tax. He even gave me a new charger, so that is a good find. First thing, I'm gonna sell this at the convention, probably maybe make 50 or 60 bucks on it. Uh, and then over here, guys, this, this is the U-Haul that is filled with all of our stuff we're selling at the convention. Look at this. All filled. You're talking, that's not games. Tons of VHS. All of these are VHS and then, oh, board games and stuff like that. It's taken me a couple days to price all this stuff out. Awesome, guys. Our first stop, first pawn shop, we picked something up. We're about to go to like five flea markets and then a huge toy store. So, great first pickup. Here we are. First flea market of the trip. Forests, Antique and more right next to Happy Teeth. <laughs> Tell me, what do you think about that? I think it's great that they're like trying to do like Happy Feet, but then they kept the penguin, but then it's Happy Teeth and penguins don't even have teeth. <laughs> there it is, they Happy Teeth. Balloons, we have no idea, y'all. We have no idea. This is gonna be even halfway decent, but we'll see. Also, I have both Carrie and Tommy in a flea market video. Y'all, this is wild. <laughs> Tommy's already picking up something. Interesting at all? <laughs> oh God. What is it? <laughs> What's the help? I'm laughing and I can't get up. And I can get up! Just the pictures of her on the back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what is she? <laughs> so joyful. <laughs> and not joyful. I love these cases. I've always loved these like simple, clear, clear cases. Whoa, look at these coke this, these cokes. Those are huge bottles, man. Oh, they're frosties. But they're 32 ounce cokes. I've never even seen that size before. Really large. Hey, we got some retro Barbies over here. Wow, and music even louder over here. Oh wow. 
That's not doing the floss. He's the original flosser. Uh, Happy Gilmore clip has to go in there right there. Are you too good for your home? He's really getting it. That's quick. He really is. He's missing every time though. One shot, two shot, three shots, four shots, five shots, six shots. Ooh, what's down here? Hey, look. Oh yeah. Wow, dude. There's a uh, lost in space, Tommy. What's Wait. the space pod? That's pretty rad. And then that Micro Machines thing back there is cool. Original Star Trek? I don't know how much it is. Why do they have all these things that are like face down that you can't see? What's the, why? Ooh, I don't like that. It's 40 bucks Ooh. for that one. I need to know what this guy is right here. The one's from McDonald's. Hey, that's actually not terrible. Seven dollars for a TI-83. What is it? No, it just makes me think oh, of- Oh, Crash. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, yeah. It does. If I had a dollar for every time I saw the McDonald's Beanie Babies. Did somebody say McDonald's? This is like worth $2,000. Oh yeah, can you, can you tell us Gosh, a reselling dude. carry? Can you tell what us? What if you opened it up and it was a mint can- <laughs> Just the case is worth two grand. <laughs> Holy crap, man, look, it goes back further. Oh man, these these right here, super nostalgic for me, man. Remember these? These Disney glasses? Carrie, you had to have have had these. This is the one I remember. Yep. Oh man, y'all, we just found the uh, the honey hole of adult diapers back here. Hey, these are mostly... <laughs> then we found some open, open ones. So Carey is like Mr. Mr. Like Game Show. What do you? What are your thoughts on Drew Carey being the Price is Right host? Do you like him? I mean, by now, yeah, I'm good. Back in the day, no, of course. I don't. Yeah, but he's been there for like 15 years now. So. Both. Take it easy. Whoa, Electric Youth. I like that font. That font is amazing. Wow, look at this. Dude, that's cool. It's for Macy's. Santa's mail. What's it made out of? Well, dude, that is actually really cool. If you get like a huge freaking house, having that outside your, or you know, that's how you can get your mail. You could put that as your mailbox. <laughs> more VHS. Well, actually, we haven't really seen, we've only seen one VHS and it wasn't inside of, it was inside the case. Classic. E.T. Non-clamshell. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. We got Sleepless in Seattle. Miss Congeniality. Some classic, some classics that my, uh, my wife loves. Warriors of Plasm? Because that sounds 90s to me. Warriors of Plasm Special Edition. Edition 10 set? Nope, Carrie, we need you to look that up right now. This is one of 25,000 official sets containing a 150 card Plasm Zero Issue on 18 point stock. It is 90s. 93. Oh, we, we found Certificate something 90s. Certificate of Limited Edition Introduction by Jim Shooter. With all of our 90s uh, background, we don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. Warriors of Plasm. Ooh, I found an old Smurf. I think I think he's old. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa, it's like ceramic. It looks like homemade. There he is. Yeah, lotion. Moisturizer. First flea market was a big bust. I didn't even see one thing that I kind of wanted. I, 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 the Smurf was not the, like... Not the conga, conga frog? The Smurf was like barely, but like, eh. I think you wanted the conga frog. I didn't need the moisturizer. Moisturizer. On to the next flea market. All right, had to stop at a garage sale that we saw on our way to the next flea market because we're addicted, man. We had to. Nothing, nothing out, but we're gonna ask like we always do. Hi, how are y'all? Do you happen to have, we collect like video game stuff, like any kind of video games, like even like Wii or DS or anything like that? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. We appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. So, so far we've been to one pawn shop, scored at the first pawn shop, two flea markets, Busts, garage sale. Oh. Found your alarm bell, now. Yeah, 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 we're interested in that. They actually said they have a GameCube. So this is a prime example 
of why you always ask. Okay, yeah. That's all the stuff we're into. Ah. It has a control, some games, wires, a thing for like Just Dance. Oh, yeah. So you can. And you yeah. do have the GameCube, you said? Oh, yeah. You're looking for it? Yeah, okay, I cool. just found that. Okay, so, yeah. Um, yeah, we're interested in that. <laughs> oh, I'll probably do it. It's like, hey, that's my Wii. Give it back to me. Yeah, I open play. that up. That has, it looks like it has all the wires. Yeah, it does. And it's got the uh, cable for the RF remote things. So it's the uh, GameCube compatible because it's got it's got the, game, it's got the uh, four card. ports. Oh, hey, for speed underground. Find a GameCube game. So this is all at least a decent start. The hope at this point is that they have actually GameCube games. It's got all the cables with it. No, I didn't find it. Oh, <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Do you have any idea what you would want for this? 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yeah. Yeah, we do $10 on that. Yeah. Picked up a Wii. Two, three remotes? Three, two or three. All the cables and everything. They, she said she had a GameCube, but she could not find it, which really stinks, man. We were like thinking, man, this could be awesome. But we still got this, remotes, everything for 10 bucks. Not bad, we can even sell this at the convention, so. Decent pickup. Next stop, Cash America Pond. I actually do pretty well at Cash America. All right, they got some games right off the bat. <laughs> Nothing great. Ryan, race with Ryan, Ryan's World. $3 UMD PSP game. A bunch of controllers all up there. Yeah, that's crazy to see PS5 stuff in pawn shops already. Yeah, yeah the, 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 the backwards compatible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are those are usually great. I mean, I don't know, 60 bucks is kind of a bit, but it's actually not bad, honestly. Do you know if the PS3 has like the controller in like the cables? It, looks uh, like the cable it has the cables behind it, but uh, would you get a I controller think... with it? Mm -hmm. I could probably work some out with you guys because I think the controllers are like sold separately unless they come in with a bundle with you, Yeah, oh. you, you care if we see that real quick? September 2008. This would open, wouldn't it? Yes. 50 cent DVDs. And there's actually a decent amount of video games over here. See that one too terribly often. Alright, I totally missed this too. Here's PS5 games. That's so crazy to me. Like PS5 stuff is already being uh, donated. Not donated. Pawn. Being pawned off and sold. All right, guys, found another yard sale. We don't care what it is on this trip. If it's a flea market, a pawn shop, a Goodwill, a, a garage sale, we are stopping and gonna ask. You guys happen to have like any old, we collect like video games, like Wii, GameCube, Nintendo, anything like that? Um, there's an Xbox there. I don't yeah. think it has all the wires, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. There's a controller in the- Xbox and controller. Do you know what you would want for this? There's a, that, the hookups aren't with it. Just else. the controller? Uh, I guess just the, yeah, just the, the console. 20. 20 for that, okay. Mm -hmm. And you don't have any other video games? No. Yeah, I'm good. It's PS, a PS5. PS5. We just said that. Here's, <laughs> so now we're finding a PS5 thing at a uh, garage sale. That's USB crazy. C. Next flea market, antiques, collectibles, flea market. It's closing, guys. Everything must go. So uh, maybe there'll be some deals, deals, deals. Oh, all kinds of stuff. We like going for old movies and games. We, we do a lot of like 80s and 90s collectibles.
All right, here are some VHS. Actually, a pretty decent selection over here in terms of how many there are. Always looking for those, like, cartoon ones. Ooh, this got Alvin and Chipmunks Love Potion number nine. Don't pass up on sealed VHS now. There's a Justice League one. What a great movie. I'd be interested in that one. So they're half off? If they're marked. So their okay. marked ones are a dollar. I see. So they'd be 50 cents if it was that one. It'd be cool to do reaction videos to this for this guy. Uh, we love digging through stuff like this. Just, just the, look at that little guy. That's a Sonic Happy Meal guy, kid. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Internet and all that good stuff. Here's some stuff. Oh, and this creepy doll. I found one of the Beanie Babies, but these are, yeah, these are all the ones in the packaging. What is it? It's, oh, it doesn't work. But the hands move down and it moves you. <laughs> Santa Mooney? I just, <laughs> Carrie just said, here's lots of toys. So, we're making our way over. Hey, here's a troll. Wait, we, we found we found the toys, Tommy. Oh, is that? it's a Power Ranger. I know, but, but like 2000. From which one? 2000. Ooh, hey, here's some more Power Ranger stuff. For my son! For my son! All right, here's a bunch of Power Rangers, Power Ranger items. And these are all from, I think, Jungle? Power Ranger Jungle or whatever one it is when they're in the jungle. So I'm gonna have to get some of these oh, here's Power Ranger tapes. Oh, you know. <laughs> here's, a, here's the top of a shampoo bottle. Whoa, he's old looking. Oh, 2002. I was really excited. I was like, that looks oh, like an old transformer. These are cool. These old, these old cups. There's a 101 Dalmatian. Hey, I remember I had this. It yeah, those were cool. Tiny so tunes and you'd flip it. I had this specific one. Yep, I remember that. Oh, look at this little, little Scrooge McDuck. Oh, no, I recognize you. God, what's freaking more nostalgic than those? I have that one. I love these. I love this so much. Hey, pog tube. Found a little pog tube. Cool. Oh yes, dude. He's missing his pump though. Remember he would like hop. Look at this. That's actually super cool. Oh wait, he unscrews his head. Soap holder dispenser. Okay, I'm getting this. It's two dollars, and I think it's half off, half off. I had a couple of the Power Ranger toys. You get two of those. I'll tell us in the comments. I don't know what console that is for. Mattel 1979? I don't know. Guys, this flea market antique store was absolutely insane. There was no rhyme or reason how things were just placed up on shelves, just, just piled up, man. And you could tell it had not been gone through for a long time. And that is exactly the kind of place that we want to dig through. So um, we got just a couple pickups from this place. The first one is this Alvin and the Chipmunks VHS Love Potion number nine. I don't remember seeing this, but anytime I see those, you know, 80s and 90s cartoons on VHS, I always pick them up, especially if they're in that good of shape. And then we got two of these Power Ranger toys. I don't know exactly which one this is from. I don't know, but I bet my son would know because he's obsessed with all things Power Rangers. So I got him both of those figures. And then the only other thing we got from uh, this from this market was this Donald Duck. Now, I'm pretty sure he is like a soap dispenser. He is not a cup, that would be kind of weird. At least I think it would be. Maybe it is, I don't know, maybe a straw goes there. But uh, I think Carrie was pretty convinced that like maybe a soap dispenser thing goes right there. Uh, regardless, a really cool piece. I think all of this was, was five bucks, so really cheap. And then you guys obviously saw uh, the Wii that we got at the garage sale. Guys, this is why you ask, uh, we were actually walking away. We were walking away. We did our spiel. Hey, do you have any video games for sale? She said no. And then like, we are halfway to the car. And she's like, I got GameCube games. I'm like what? Yes, that's exactly what we want. Now, unfortunately, she was not able to find the GameCube, which, which is terrible. But at least we did get something. We got this Wii, it has all the hookups. 
uh, and the, the cords and the controller is what I meant to say. Uh, and then also, guys, we, we were thinking as we were driving to the convention that next day, we're like, I wonder if there's a game. I wonder if there's a game inside of the Wii. So I'm going to cut over to us in the convention where we actually check to see if there was a game in the Wii. I'm guessing there's probably not a game in it, but there's a GameCube memory card. There's a GameCube memory card, that's true. So you never know, there could be Smash Brothers in here. Could be, it could be anything. Maybe it didn't even work. Okay, that's good. Oh wait, it had power for a second. Oh, it did have did power. Did you turn it off? No. I'm just holding it. Oh. Maybe the power went off. It had power for a second. Maybe it, maybe it was bad. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, it was working. Sorry, the light popped on. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Just dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh well, at least there's a game in there. It's better than nothing. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem, sir. So there was a game. Was it a good game? No, but there was one in there. I thought maybe there'd be a good GameCube game, especially since there was one one GameCube game in in this lot. But I think uh, I think this is worth around like 60 bucks nowadays for a Wii and all the hookups and a controller and it works great. I tested it and it works great, but that is precisely why you got to ask. It looked like there would there would not be any video games at this garage sale, but you got to ask. So that is today's episode of The Retro Life. Guys, stay tuned for um, the next video when we actually go to the convention and we actually have a great video from uh, Dallas Vintage Toys, a really great toy store in the area. Guys, as always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you would like the video, it helps out tremendously. Subscribe if you have not already, and until next time, peace.